Here's my 2005 E4 gem car I bought used. Bought it locally on eBay. I had 50 miles on it when I bought it. It's got gel cells. It's an 05 that they bought in Christmas and I believe I took delivery in March the following year. So basically 15 months old I think it was uh, when I got it. But like I said only 50, mi 50 miles on it. The first thing I did was I changed out the tires and wheels, rims assembly and I went with a 14 inch tire thanks to Rick on the Yahoo forums helped me a lot with my decision making process because um, as you know there's probably a clearance issue with um, these tires and clearing the, the body of the car I ended up going with a 23 inch total wheel height just to play it safe I figured that would always work I was trying to go with 24 but I was a little concerned about getting the wheel under the back spat as uh, that seems to be a pretty tight fit. The, the tire I went for, went with was a low rolling resistance again uh, according to Rick it's a Ponzania RE92 it's a 175-65 R14 tire and the, the rims are from Pep Boys uh, they were the least expensive rims I could find Again, according to Rick, I just want to keep the cost down, but they're, they come in different styles and they were 50 bucks each, so that was pretty reasonable. I think the total weight I've added to the system is probably with the wheels and rims is about 50 pounds. Uh, after that, the next thing I added was the 7.5 horsepower motor. They have to change the magnets out in the 05 and laters to fool the controller into thinking it's going less than 25 miles an hour. Attaches with three bolts, three seven sixteen bolts. It's on a spline, so when you undo it, it doesn't fall. You extract it from there. Four, con four contacts on the poles on the motor, and then on the O5, you have to sort of create a jumper so that this fools the overheating sensor. The next thing I did was I added the soft doors. I looked into the, the hard doors, but that's a factory install, and plus they were like three thousand dollars. Bought. I ended up going with the Gem Car doors which are handled by the dealers. I didn't particularly care for the ride for fun doors because of the, uh, they're clear all in here. It's sort of like it's all visible, which I didn't really want. And then there's a company in Syracuse, I forget their name, but they make car doors also. And they were, I want to say the ride for fun was $7.95 and then the other ones were $8.95. I ended up buying these ones for $9.95 and, or $9.90, yeah, $9.95. And I ended up buying them from the dealer because I wouldn't pay any shipping and also what I liked about it was is that it also included this hard hard back that's about it that's my gem 05 gem just thought I'd show it to some people in case they were thinking about getting one and see what can be done with it